Investigators from the PSDC were invited by the United Nations Fund for Population Assistance um, back in the late 90s to uh, provide um, assistance to the newly established Population Research Center at Addis Ababa University. About the same time, the Packard Foundation became involved in Ethiopia as one of its signature countries. And so the Packard Foundation invited Brown um, to get involved in capacity building with uh, public universities. And we had a first cycle of that project was approximately three, four years long in which we were focused on providing intensive training to university-based uh, faculty in the area of fertility research and reproductive health research. So that early collaboration led to the subsequent development of a proposal for a longitudinal survey of adolescents. That survey started in 2005 in southwestern Ethiopia with Jima University. The survey has been focused on adolescent reproductive health and behavior uh, as one of the focal uh, points of interest for the Packard Foundation. We've completed all our field work and we're focused on analyzing the data. We've had a number of very important findings. Uh, we've uh, found, for instance, that early interventions such as participation in youth clubs, exposure to reproductive health services through the public sector have lasting impacts on adolescent uh, sexual and reproductive health knowledge. So kids who, particularly girls who are participating at early ages in youth clubs that are focused on reproductive health end up four or five years later having better knowledge than their peers who don't participate in those clubs. What we also find is that early experiences in school have uh, lasting effects on reproductive and sexual health knowledge as well. And what's a particularly important finding for us is that whether or not kids start in school on time has a big impact on sexual knowledge later in life. And that's particularly important because a substantial proportion of Ethiopian youth don't start school, primary school, on time. And kids who don't start in school on time have subsequent problems in, a, in schooling. They never develop the cognitive skills that are important for the mastery of reproductive health knowledge. And again, points to the importance and the value of interventions that target youth early in life before they uh, become sexually active. We've also uh, found that youth whose first sexual experience involves some degree of pressure or, or coercion are much more likely to engage in risky sex subsequent to that. We, we find that you know, kids have this impression that all their peers are sexually active and um, are experienced, and, um, but they themselves aren't. And in reality, the level of sexual activity among young people is relatively low. And so there's this real disconnect between what youth think is going on and what is actually going on. We think that's really important for us in terms of also getting the message out to youth. The norm is not to be sexually active at early ages. And communicating that message is really important because what we find again is that when youth have sex early, when they're not prepared, it has all kinds of potential negative consequences for them. And so to the extent that we can provide information that youth can use in making smart decisions about when to engage in relationships, what kinds of relationships, and to feel comfortable that they're in the position to make that decision themselves without the pressure of their partners or peers, that's a, a, an important objective. What will be most gratifying for me is if when I walk away from this, that there will be investigators in place at the different universities I've partnered with who are on their own continuing to produce high quality research, disseminate it through policy briefs. Key results continue to be disseminated through radio messages. I'd like to see a long-term impact not only in the way research is conducted in Ethiopia, but also seeing those research results disseminated to stakeholders and to local communities where they'll have a real direct impact on people's lives.